to all the companies that we're going to pass today, all the shops that we're going to pass today and protest outside are supporting the barbarity directed at the people of Palestine. And you say, well, why, you know, why? Why choose Barclays? Why choose Marks and Spencers? We choose them because they represent the immorality, the barbarism of the capitalist system. They'll invest anywhere where there's money to be made. And if it means 60 Palestinians being brutally murdered, protesting against their conditions in Gaza, then that doesn't matter to them. As long as there's money to be made, they will be there. Marks and Spencers. Yes, well, what's wrong with Marks and Spencers, you might say? Well, it's a, a rather lousy company, but besides that, throughout its whole history, it has supported, yes, supported with donations, with money, in every way possible, the State of Israel. Through years and years of barbarity against the Palestinians, Marks and Spencers has been there to support Yes, support the Zionist state of Israel. And let's talk about this country. You know, everybody is very excited about the idea that Jeremy Corbyn might eventually become the Prime Minister of this country. Do you think it'll make any difference? Do you think it's going to make any difference? Well, examine what's happened in relation to this barbarity in Israel against the Palestinians. What has the Labour Party said? What has the Labour Party done? What we know is it's done nothing. And most of the people that have actually even spoken out against the barbarity of Israel, because any human being with a modicum of decency would attack the Zionist state of Israel for murdering, yes, unarmed Palestinians in Gaza. So the situation is with the Labour Party, they're all terrified that they will be accused of anti-Semitism. And because they're terrified of this, they won't speak out as human beings against the barbarity of the State of Israel. And they won't do anything. What has Car Corbyn said? He says, well, we shouldn't sell arms to Israel. We've been selling arms to Israel throughout its whole existence. Where do you think the arms come from? They come from Britain, the United States, and Europe. And they have those arms, and they're killing Palestinians with those arms. So, you know, mouthing some desire to not sell arms to the State of Israel represents nothing. Yes. Thornbury, she made a great statement attacking the barbarism of Israel. But she is a member of the Labour Friends of Israel. And what did the Labour Friends of Israel say? No, Labour Friends of Israel. What did they say about the barbarism that had taken place? They said it was the fault of Hamas. Yes, they said Hamas was responsible for those people demonstrating against the barbarity of Gaza. The fact that they're being forced to live in a prison. Hamas was behind that. How disgusting, how insulting to 30,000 Palestinian people that have been demonstrating against the jail conditions, the unmitigated barbarism of the State of Israel. But, you know, Labour Friends of Israel. She didn't say, Thornbury didn't say, I'm leaving the Labour Friends of Israel. She just ignored this reality. The Labour Friends of Israel are supporters of the state barbarism of the Zionist state of Israel. And that's the reality. And you can have no confidence that Corbyn or the Labour Party will do anything to take real action against the state of Israel. If they were prepared to take that action, they would support the boycott of Israel.
they would support the campaign that is building throughout the world to boycott the state of Israel. But they won't do that because they're terrified they might lose the election by being accused of anti-Semitism. This is the reality of this country. And if we are going to build real opposition to the state of Israel's barbarism against the Palestinian people, we have to do it on the street. We have to do it week in, week out. We have to tell people in this country what the state of Israel is and what it represents. It is a brutal Zionist state that is intent on destroying the Palestinian people. And we cannot support that. No one can support that who cares about the justice for the Palestinian people. So support our picket today. Come round with us as we go round and protest against those companies in this area that support the State of Israel.